What's up, YouTube? I'm here with... Uh, it's Brandon Balecki. And uh, how'd you do today? I uh, finished Swiss uh, X02, so just two draws. Two draws, okay. So uh, up until up to round six, I was uh, undefeated. Uh, round six, I ended in a draw. I uh, got a, I got very greedy. I played into a super poly. I should have won. Uh, uh, and then last round, again, I got a, a draw that I shouldn't have gotten. I should be first place. I should have won the tournament. Um, yeah. It went. We got a time extension. It went right down to the wire. Um, I open up a bunch of stuff. He does his plays. He has nothing. And then uh, I was basically going to go for game but then uh you know time was called so okay um well. so yeah anyways i should be first place but whatever it's all good <laughs> and um oh the other thing want to do some shout outs before we get into the list uh yeah shout out uh shout out my homies in calgary uh shout out my boy vincent shout out um everyone that we test with everyone in the group chat hi vincent hey. uh yeah that's pretty much it for shout outs awesome okay well let's get into this list <laughs> okay so i'm playing labyrinth um it's it's not your standard labyrinth it's very spicy okay okay, okay so first off we start with the uh the you know standard um i think this ratio is pretty standard at this point like yeah um people aren't playing three one's probably too few um you can side her out but i think just this is the perfect ratio Fair enough. um so we're playing those uh we're playing a little bit of a weird ratio with these as well um so i'm playing two of her and two of, uh, one of her yep obviously the searcher uh this comes up there's a piece there's a card in my side deck that uh, will kind of give this a bit more explanation yep. um but just the fact that both of these draw a card from when a monster leaves the field by normal trap effect um it is actually really good and they've drawn your hand traps yeah so uh playing both i think at this point is just mandatory you can max out in this but i didn't want to max out on her because there are times where you see two of her right and then it's completely dead okay so um i think this was the perfect ratio uh, and then finally for the last Labyrinth Monsters, I'm playing one of each furniture. Mm. Not three, not zero, just one of each. That was just good enough? So this, the deck is Toolbox Labyrinth. Um, okay. It's meant to be as consistent as possible, take advantage of all the once per turn effects yep. without drawing multiples of the same cards, basically. Fair enough. Um, so I didn't want to draw multiple of this, multiple of this, or multiple of this. They're all Toolbox, they're all accessible by Welcome, and they all do stuff on your opponent's turn when you flip Welcome. So. Okay. Um, I thought it was really, really strong just to play one of each. I really like this this ratio. I think this is the perfect ratio. Yeah. Um, so we've got those. Uh, for the non-Labyrinth monsters, just got hand traps. Uh, so three Ash and three Nib. This was my preferred like hand trap lineup today. Okay. Um, I felt like Ash is the best kind of card just generally speaking. And this isn't yeah. news. Everyone knows this, right? Um, it has a downside of playing a Nahida and a Snake Eye matchup, which did happen today, but it wasn't game losing. Um, it didn't make enough of a difference to truly matter. Fair enough. Um, this Nibiru clapped, 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 clapped today. Like, there was... It was ir irreplaceable. Like, I'm so glad I made three of this today, because it just did so much work. Um, so, those are my hand traps. Just three Ash and three Nibiru. Awesome. And then finally, I'm playing three Fenrir in the main deck. Okay. Um, Fenrir is, is so good. Um, he's a single-handed board breaker, single-handed um, search one for the furniture pitch, single-handed, uh, just, you know, one card answer to so many things. Just really, he was just nuts today. So freaking good, man. He's so good. I think in, like, this more of a control stun build, he's, yeah. like, almost irreplaceable. Like, there's nothing else that does what he does, right? Okay. Um, so that's it for the monsters. It's 18 monsters. Okay. Uh, on to spells, we're playing three prosp and one of the field spell. Um, again, playing a stun deck, you want to, you don't want to necessarily yeah. play the extravagance because, you know, not necessarily worried about drawing a lot you rather just like uh, turbo into what you need yeah uh, and make your hands more consistent like I was just dead set in consistency today so um, so that's it for the spells and then for the trap lineup it's like sort of standard sort of not so three welcome three big um, people cut this to two obviously in a lot but and again in this build you just you just have to like you have to play maximum consistency. You have to see it. You have to play maximum consistency. Yeah. Like I was mentioning before, welcome is like any anything in your deck. Yeah, it's, so that's fair. And like, it, it just feels like it, it almost feels like mandatory. Yeah. Right, because like if you're not drawing one of those, you're probably not. Really exactly. Yeah. And like these two cards in combo is your whole deck. Oh, yeah. uh, plus Kukok plays into any other trap you want. I really just want to see both of these cards opening. Fair enough. So I was like completely happy with these ratios. I love them. Uh, next for traps, I'm playing uh, two Daru Mechanon. 
Uh, some people play three, some people play one, some people play none. The card just claps everything. It's so good. There's no good answer to it. You just flip it in battle phase and yeah. like, you're protected. I did, I flipped this like three or four times in battle phase. Oh wow. It's so good. Um, no one, like it's unexpected. It's unexpected. Um, for sure. And like just being able to send stuff like where it makes your opponent send it as well. It's just like, it's, it's, it's so probably great. given people like running into mirror force vibes. It pretty much, honestly, <laughs> it actually acts like that basically. Yeah. Like it protects your own monsters from battle. Like it basically skips the battle phase. Oh. Like it's so yeah. good, right? So again, yeah. it was like the idea of max consistency. I don't want to play three. I don't want to open two of this and like one just not do anything type of thing. Right. So two is perfect. Fair enough. Um, some spice, two black goat. Yep. So uh, people, a lot of people, like like the lab players today didn't play any of this. Like oh. people run zero. Yep. And I think it's just so good being able to call a plethora of things strategically in the right scenario, yeah. calling Garunix, calling Snake Eye Ash, right? Even yeah. pitching this with the furniture, because what you can do is you can pitch furniture for cost, chain this for cost in response, mm -hmm. and then you can uh, yeah. declare a monster name at that point in time, so you can call, I, I called Snake Eye Ash three times on this, Oh yeah, definitely. and it just shuts, it just like, it's a compl it's like half the deck shut off basically. Oh yeah. They have to be base, basically awkwardly placed. So it was very, very good. And then if you draw it, it's like two, right? Um, it's exactly. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I, if I don't care if I draw it, it's like, I'm cool with it, right? I yeah. even set it off Lady a couple times too. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so it was really good. Um, I'm playing the Floodgate build. So these are in the main deck. Okay. These are in the main deck. Skill Drain is absurd. <laughs> I don't know why it's still at three. Um, it's it's that good. Konami loves Floodgates, <laughs> Even despite the fact that this and goes in and Tickbrew at one. Yeah. This card is is not fair right now. No. This card is just like it single handedly deals with the snake guy. In my last match against Jesse Hellwig, um he like I would have won I, I simply won the match because of this basically. Like he had all snake guys on the field that just he had to turn to his defensive position, grind out until he got an answer to it. Right. There's really nothing the deck can do. Yep. It's so good. So this along with Skill Drain as well. Skill Drain was just just un unbelievable. Right. Like Against Voiceless Voice, they just don't do anything. Like, they are at a mercy to this card. There's no good out to it until they get the side deck. So, Skill in the main deck, I love it. I, yeah, I just like can't see much just wins games, hey? it, it really just wins games by itself. And, like, the fact that the furniture interacts so well with it as well, yeah. it's really good. Uh, and then finally, um, the one of traps. So, one punishment, one IDP. Um, I really like the utility of these. Again, it's all toolbox, it's all utility. I'm setting these off of Lovely, or excuse me, off of Lady uh, when I need them. Uh, you can imagine why these are good, right? I'll show that extra deck as well as to why that, that uh, comes sure. up. And then finally, I'm playing some other cool things. So the Terror Straps. This card is overpowered. <laughs> Being able to literally send anything in response to like the one per turn, once per turn effects. Um, setting like Island and then having Island blow the field up is really good. Setting something useless, right? right. Really, really good. This, as well as a very clean out to Flambridge, because you special summon from the grave, uh, you non-target banish one monster they control, and then return one of their banished monsters back to the grave. Mm. So it never triggers Flamberge, it's unexpected, it doesn't target anything on the field. And the coolest part about it all is that this in the graveyard with Ku Clock, you banish it, you shuffle the Ku Clock back to deck, and you get to set this right from the deck to the okay. field. Cool. So it's a really, really cool interaction. So I really like that. So awesome. That's why that's basically why I played that was for that interaction of setting this from the deck. That makes sense. So and okay. you can also pitch this off the furniture, which for is sure. really cool. Um, on to extra deck. So extra deck, uh, we got the fusions. Um, these are the super poly targets. This is the punishment target. Um, you'll send off these, you know, often off the punishment, yeah. and these are just really good. Never went to any of these. I don't think I resolved super poly once today. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was just good to have them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, for sure. Um, my links. I'm playing some cool links for some cool reasons. So I'm playing uh, Almiraj and uh, Anima. Okay. Um, and I'm playing the respective charmers. Yeah. So the idea, of course, is like any one summon linking into these uh, automatically, and like there's no surprise playing this card. Uh, these automatically make the good SP summon. Yeah. Being able to do this, so you can like normal summon Ash, and or Ku Clock or um, the Stovey. Or even DD Crow, you see my side deck. Normal summon, it becomes a fire, and now you have the ability to go into Hida, or you have the ability to go into SP, and then like get the banish off of it. So yeah. I really liked, really liked having these. It was a last minute decision, really paid off well. Anima is like the best link one you can play right now. Makes sense. Um, everyone's playing it, and then these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, this search is like furniture, so it's really good. Okay. Um, SP is self-explanatory. Uh, Muckcracker is self-explanatory in this deck, of course. Oh, it yeah. leads to OTKs. You have to play it. Um, and then this was like the flex spot. Um, it's good because it's a fire, so bridges the Nahida. It's good because it's generic, like Link 2, it just takes two monsters. Right. Um, and the best part about it was just like under skill drain, you sometimes just need a big beater right. to like link off and just make big, like big beats. So yep. it was really cool just to be able to like under skill drain, do this guy 19, get in. It was really nice. Uh, we're playing one Chaos Angel, standard, you have to. Um, and then uh, Typhon, standard. 
and then these guys. Um, this guy <laughs> is so good with Ariana. Um, being able to make this first turn, or even just mid game. Yeah. Like I was considering playing Dweller, and I'm like, you know what? This like, and then the fact that it's feed as well. Don't know how to out it. it, it, it there's, like, there's no good out to it. Yeah. There's really no go out, good out to it's it. It's so hard. Especially when you when you when you stick this on the field and you got back row. Yeah. It's like, what are you supposed to do? They literally pass, and now you're in control, and then you take the pilot seat. You put this to attack, and you just swing in. So yeah. it was so good. Um, and then Nib token, of course. Okay. Okay. Finally, the side deck. Um, so side deck's a little spicy. We've got uh, two DD Crow. Right. Um, I'm playing Skill Drain, right? So I don't want to play Imperm ever. Um, Imperm, Veilers are obviously very good in this format, but I never want to conflict where I've got Skill Drain and I'm drawing Imperms or Veilers. Like, never ever want that to happen, so I'm just not right. playing them. I'll take whatever flack of not playing the Imperm yeah. is, and I'll just I'll make that sacrifice. Yeah. Um, DD Crow is like the next best generic. Um, I really liked it. It was good against Voiceless Voice. It was good against like everything that basically wasn't Snake Eyes. Right. So I really liked that. Um, this card is spicy as hell. <laughs> so oh, the, uh, the Dark, dark Barrier yeah. Statue. So it's a Fiend, it's a Dark, you bring it out with Ariane. Um, what's even with the nasties, you can just like normal summon this, like going second against Snake Eyes, you just normal summon this into the board. It doesn't matter. Like, right. you're not playing anymore. Sorry, you're not f summoning any fires, you're not playing. The best thing you can do is summon Dia Del Yeah. So we just backed this up with back row. Even that is like really good. Really yeah, and then like you can usually out the star before it can attack over. Precisely, yeah, right? Yeah. So this was like just so good. I think this needs to be considered like as a standard piece in the deck. That's fair. Um, along with Ariana. Uh, spells, I'm playing uh, two Super Poly and the one Feather Duster. It's Feather Duster, like you yeah. have to play it. Uh, and then Super Poly, I felt like this was just very good. Okay. Um, we don't care about the pitch, we have a lot of good things to pitch. Yeah. And unable to respond and just, you know, swinging tempo, it's just, it's so good. So. For sure. You gotta play it. Uh, and then finally we're playing uh, Three Judgment. Shouldn't be of any surprise, um, it's very good. Uh, we're playing two Summon Limit. I was playing three, but I needed to make room, and I figured, like, I'm playing Prosperity, so... I'll try and dig into this. Yep. It's really just the fifth and sixth floodgates. I'd rather see skill drain and rivalry, but these are also like equally good. So yeah. <laughs> uh, and then evenly matched. Um, this is a pretty unpopular one right now, but I like the fact that it just blows. Like basically playing these, I'll always side these four against going uh, snake guys going second. Yeah. Always. It could just blow them and out. And it just blows them out in different ways. Um, this never failed. This was always very impactful. Yeah. Um, the fact that it's, an, it's a trap as well. So there was a play where I, I went battle phase, I evenly them, and the main phase two I set four and summoned a uh, lady from hand. Yeah. Because I had already activated a trap. That makes sense. So it was just even like more bonus. And I, just so I feel like evenly, like, I, although people think it's not that good against Fire King, like, because they can play around it, like, you have to be a really good player to be able to know how to, like, yeah. play through the evenly, so it can be For really sure. tough. And, like, some people, like, especially the Fire King build, will just extend it. Like, they never expect evenly. It's, it's unpopular. Yeah. Why would anyone play evenly right now, right? Exactly. So they extend into it, and then it's just like, okay, I'm going to evenly for, like, six cards. Right. And then you're left with, like, a, maybe a follow-up or two in hand if you're lucky, and then you've got some graveyard stuff, and I'm just setting back row, and I think. Awesome. So it was okay. really, really impactful. And then finally, uh, one D bear. You have to do for like voiceless voice and like whatever other Makes random sense. shit um not much more to be said about it right you can get it off of like lady so it's pretty good uh and this was the final inclusion i i put this in last minute i cut it no one plays it anymore but i'm playing eradicator oh. um it's you know i think the community i think agrees like it's not played anymore but the fact that like i didn't want to lose to rogue i wanted to have a good answer for anything that like was gonna like runic stun for instance right i was kind of in, in, in testing kind of struggling about it like with it a bit yeah so this like flunder runic stun kashatira anything basically that's not basically that's not snake eyes fire king that is powerful like gets crippled yeah yeah um, and just one honorable mention on this um i i threw my so I, as i mentioned in the, in the beginning i threw my uh round six yeah win and i got a draw instead because i got too greedy i opened uh this hard drew this <laughs> welcome and something else i said everything i go welcome i summoned ariana and searched oh. for the lady summoned lady and uh and then i got super polyed oh. but if i had simply just went lady, lady. and then eradicated he had like three spells in hand he had no good follow-up he opened the oh, arise there goes the super poly <laughs> so yeah. unfortunately you know I should be higher placed today, but uh, it is what it is. It so, happens. You can't read happens. every play. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Right? Don't All get right. greedy. That's, 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 <laughs> All right. that's, that's the fair. Most well, great, congratulations, and we'll hopefully see you in the future. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. All that kind of stuff really helps So I really appreciate it. And down below, you can see a list of things that are coming up.